Welcome to Good Mythical More. Jelly Belly makes sparkling water. Let's taste it, rank it, and compare it to their own jelly bean flavors. But not after we take a new selfie. This selfie's called, Whose House Am I In? What's in this house? You said, well, not after. Not after, but yes after. Not yes, after. Yes after you take the selfie is when you will be doing it. <clears throat> I mean, not to call you out or anything. But not after we take a selfie. Is that what I said? What did I say? Well, not now, until now after. You're confusing That's me. what you meant. Okay. Did you know that Jelly Belly has no! sparkling water? And I think right off the bat, I feel like there's a branding problem because the first thing I thought when I heard that Jelly Belly had hard seltzer, it's not hard, hard it's sparkling hard, water. It's just sparkling water. Is that it had calories in it? Zero sugar, but zero sweetener, zero calories, zero, zero sodium. Because people who like Jelly Bellies, I'm usually not worried about not drinking sugary drinks, right? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. No, it says true to life flavor, so we're gonna put that to the test. Uh, you have your own series over here. Do you wanna start? Um, with a pina colada? The pina, pina colada? Um, it, they have to clarify on the can that this one is non-alcoholic, yeah. because a pina colada typically is, the other ones don't do that. We got very cherry, pink grapefruit, watermelon, and orange sherbet. Pink grapefruit, I predict, will be my fave, but we we still got to um, let's taste it and then try the jelly bean because I assume it'll be not as concentrated of a taste. Pretty, pretty authentic to pina colada, but also yeah. a little chemically. Is it not? Tastes exactly yeah. like the jelly bean, without the sugar. Yeah, it does. Okay, you must not like it. I don't like pina colada flavored stuff. I like I like raw coconut, and I like coconut Wait, water. You don't like an actual pina colada, or just the flavor? Um, what's the, like? What do you mean? Like if you're by the pool and and somebody's like, "What do you want to drink?" I don't think I don't think I enjoy those because <gasps> it's, it's coconutty Stop flavored. It. But you if know, you just give me some coconut water. I like that. It's not, but it's like a it's like a smoothie type of situation, and like has whipped cream and a cherry and mm. like. Give me a mudslide. <laughs> okay, uh, it's okay. It's, it's not not great. Let's move to cherry. Or something. I mean, I feel an like another flavor that Link doesn't like, but we'll we'll eat. I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm a fan of a cherry though. It's a nice raw cherry. That's strong. I mean, I gotta hand it to them. In tasting both of these, the um, the carbonation level is on the high end. Like you got like Topo Chico, and then you got Lacroix down here. I think it's closer to Lacroix, but you seem like the, but higher. Something can't be too effervescent for you. I feel like th things. I, get, I love a Topo Chico. Sometimes things can be too effervescent for me. It'll make you burp. Not just that, it just becomes like, all I'm tasting is the carbon dioxide. I like that. It's a treat. I limit myself to one a night. One what? Topo Chico. And I don't let the kids drink them. Hold on, you have Topo Chico in your house and you drink one every night? Every single night, yeah. If I'm watching something on TV or something. Why don't you let the kids drink them? Because they'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like them either. They don't like that level of effervescence. I will say that once and, the kids get into things, you can forget there being a constant supply of them. Yeah. Um, we also uh, have sparkling waters of all types of varieties in the house, and I try to limit how many they drink just so they don't get gone. But we don't have soft See, drinks in the house. I told you about, I was, talk, I was talking about the soda stream and how it is helpful for that type of situation. It is, and that's why I got one. And you can choose your, your, your fizzy level so you can go And I do go full fizz. fizz, I do go full fizz on, I do, I do three. Actually, I don't know if you know this, Stevie. I heard you talking about your soda stream and it made me realize that you didn't get the soda stream that you just press the but a certain button and it automatically does the level that you want. Oh no! You, you no, have no, a you pumper. Could've, you could have paid I, like it's, not a, it's like a pusher, but yeah. But you have to be the judge of it. Yeah. For me, I just press one of three buttons. It's only like fifteen bucks more. You should have gotten that. I didn't get myself. I was gifted this uh, soda stream. That explains so. a lot. Um, they nailed the flavor with both of them. I like cherry I mean, they've more. Really, they've really done an amazing job of translating their flavor. So well, at this point. 
I'm but, a I'm a believer. Here's the in, thing: though. in their packaging, is that re- true to life? Is it really that big of an accomplishment? I mean, listen, I'm not knocking them, but <laughs> I think so. Yeah, on, but, there's no sugar in right, this. Right, right. But the flavor compounds that created these jelly beans were already in the like world of chemical fake, fake flavors. Yeah. So to translate that to a sparkling water is like, I mean, what are you looking for? A pat on the back? What do you want from us? I'm trying to give jelly a belly rub. It's not like you're you over there. You didn't take a cherry and then replicate it with fake. You took something you already made, a fake cherry, and you made more fake cherry, just made it in liquid. I mean, mm, I'm not gonna good. send you a medal or anything. Remember that time that we went to the flavor factory? The flavor factory. Um, what did they make there besides flavors? They made something. This, yeah. is, this is an episode of GMM where we went to... Um, no, they made only flavors, but they made them in different ways. And then they had we had one machine that was they were making, like sometimes they make flavors that are just chemical and sometimes they make flavors that are concentrates from real thing. And they had a giant thing that looked like a massive telescope and they it was a co- they were currently making coffee flavor. That's right. And they were pressing coffee into this thing that was literally like 16 feet long. Pressing it and pressing yeah, it and pressing yeah. it and pressing it and pressing it and basically pressing coffee concentrated down into this liquid that was like a drop of coffee flavor that could flavor like 15,000 coffees. A nation. <laughs> Flavor the nation. That's the slogan of the place. My sense of smell was overwhelmed for like weeks after that place because it was so pungent. Yeah, and they had some nasty flavors and we, we had to guess what they were. And then Milkshakes, yeah. we, made the, we, made, we made our own concoctions at the end. Is that oh, yeah. what happened? I had to taste a barnyard milkshake. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, pink grapefruit, did you try it? I did. I, 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 it is my favorite. Hmm. I like grapefruit flavored. So it goes with the effervescence so well. They didn't get this one as close. And I'm glad. What happened here? All you had to do was take the thing. It's less that you put into the bean and put it into the water. It's a lot less citrusy. You could call me. I really like it though. It is the best flavored one because I There's think I like these better fruit. than LaCroix because they're more effervescent. Yeah, but if, here's the thing. If you get Jelly Belly drinks at your house, you gonna keep yeah. your kids away from those? I got half full LaCroix cans all over my house. Oh gosh, don't get me started. Yeah, right. And I, and I, and I said, here's a new thing, kids. Every time I find a half can of LaCroix in the house from now on, it's one less semester I pay for college. <laughs> this, this, this is quite. St- I mean, when I find they a half move, a can, they moved through their whole college education pretty fast. So I don't know what we're going to do now. <laughs> All I do is uh, I take whatever's left in the can, I track them down where they are in their house, and I just pour it over their slowly head. pour it over their head. Yeah, that's because nice. that's a, that's a direct thing. You feel pain now, not in college. Now, yeah, but my now, kids punitive now. My kids love it when they get water poured on their heads. So it would be a reward, and they would start leaving them just almost completely full. I'm not a I'm not a watermelon flavor man either. Okay, but let's say you're on a tropical vacation and you're by the pool and there is somebody that can get you a drink. You want a mudslide? Yeah, that's a little heavy. It's a little heavy, you're right. Um what do I end up ordering? Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a second, Chase. You just wait. <laughs> well you gonna take it away? Keep, keep waving it, just, just keep it waving bring it. Bring it out, dang, you want us to talk about it, we'll talk about it. Chase can't get enough. I really want one. All right, of our, of our mythical society robe, um, you can wear this on the beach. I Cloak mean, it, of mythicality. It's, it's sweatshirt material, it's, it's very comfortable, and uh, you can celebrate your, your, your secrecy. Uh, but you need to sign up for monthly third tier of the mythical society today in order to be eligible that's a word that you're ha- you're having trouble saying. I've noticed. Eligible. I don't say eligible. Eligible. Yeah. I, t- I don't need. I don't need to that middle eye. <clears throat> so if if you're in the if you're in the in the market for monthly mythical society, do it right now. Let's go back to the. Mm. This isn't bad. I, I don't know what to tell the you. Scenario Steve. like that the, Stevie was talking the about. The pineapple. Th- what's the pineapple one that's like, um, that's mixed. But it's either mango or pineapple with like something in it. Like that's that's how I order it. Pina colada has. Yeah, you can do the pineapple or the mango. I like pineapple or a mango smoothie with some alcohol in it. But you I know, 
what I discovered one time, this is a good poolside drink and you can get this, uh, you can probably get this at most bars, but they were doing this as a special at this place I was at one time. Vodka and um, coconut water mixed. Huh. It was just light, but it kind of got you to where you needed to be, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Vodka and coconut water. Vodka and coconut water. So coconut were, water has a thickness to it. Well, you were like, you felt like you were drinking a drink, but you felt like it was almost healthy. Like, I'm, I'm giving myself electrolytes right now. Yeah, yeah. If I wanted to go and do the butterfly in the pool right now, and impress all y'all, and not burn out, I could do it, but I won't because there's also vodka in it. <laughs> Can you imagine going to like a like a resort and you're like poolside and then some dude gets in there and starts doing the butterfly like my puts on puts on goggles and a swim cap like, <laughs> butterfly. When's the last time you butterflied? I thought you were talking about the dance. No, no. I was never great at the butterfly swim stroke. Never great at it. That was my weak stroke in the in the individual medley. You had to do that one and that was my weak that was my weak lap. I do not like the watermelon. It's got a weird aftertaste. It tastes like watermelon bubble gum. It tastes like most, watermelon flavor is just something they came up with because apparently they couldn't get it from watermelons. Uh, but it coconut water flavored. comes from the coconut. Uh, here we have orange sherbet. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm listening. I'm sipping. I'm thinking. I'm analyzing. You know how some people do this before they open a can? What's that do? It's if it, um, if you're afraid it's gonna like explode, it it makes it not. No. <laughs> yeah, Jay said knocking to be polite. I do not think that it helps. That jelly bean is my favorite because it tastes like a Tic Tac. Like an orange Tic Tac? It tastes like or an orange sickle. It tastes like orange sickle water. But the water, Some it's all right, think, it's got that cream aftertaste. Oh, you about to tell it's us like an orange cream yeah. soda. Some people think tapping the sides or top of the can will break up the bubbles. <laughs> but according to an article on chow.com, representatives from both Coke and Pepsi agree the tapping method does not work. In fact, by adding energy to the system, right. you stand a chance of generating Making it more worse, bubbles. right. It's like a very gentle shake. I was watching a movie recently, and there was a scene where the lawyer was meeting with a guy in prison and the prisoner asked the lawyer to buy him a canned drink. And he did that before he opened it up. And I was like, that's a cool thing to do as an actor. But I don't believe that is a cool thing to do in the real world. Is that what the lawyer said? No, that's what I said. It'd be quite a meta conversation. My favorite is the pink grapefruit. I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, they're all better than I expected. I will say that much, Jelly Belly. Way to go, Jelly Belly. Cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive collectible item. A secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree monthly plan by July 31st at mythicalsociety.com to be eligible.